Matt and Stan, Sick, Sick Fabrications. Fabrications. I mean, we, we kind of have the motto, if you can draw it, we can make it. Yep. And if you can't draw it, we can. Um, we needed production and repeatability. You know, uh, for a perfect example of the gussets for the concrete molds, you know, they needed to be exactly the same, each there one, and it takes a lot of them. You know, so instead of having to hand lay out each line and try to cut each line and then grind each line smooth, you know, with a hand cutter, I, I let the robot do the work. Right. That way they're the same all the way across the board. We had it in our mind that we'd do that job with that plasma cutter. So uh, it would have been impossible to do it, do it the right way with hand cutting. I mean, yeah, we would have never even attempted this job without uh, it. Right. I know that I'm not that good to cut that straight that many times in a day's time. You have to have automated plasma to get the same result every time if you're building more than one one off of something. If it's a, a repeat type of uh, process, then you have to have automated equipment to get the same result every time. We chose an A60 um, automated plasma cutter to go on our CNC table, um, mainly for, uh, I can cut quarter inch steel all day long and never cycle the machine out. That was the biggest thing we were looking at at that time was, you know, quarter inch capability. I mean, we're, we're looking at buying the next larger machine as it is, you know, just so we can get the same repeatability with duty cycle on half inch, you know. Uh, just like Matt was saying earlier, you know, a, a, each new piece of equipment generates its own business. You know, and now that there is a, a, a robot to cut parts, the people want parts cut by a robot. 